there's always a kind of a philosophy to everything that we do. You know, it, we're, we're kind of, we're, you know, you're writers. I mean, you're writing stuff. And, and you're allowed to write if you've had some success. You build from being in a band to writing your own material, which the Beatles obviously pioneered, if you like. We came later. Um, Moody's finally became the band that writes all their own music too. And everybody, the Stones, and in those days, apart from the solo people like Rod Stewart, wrote their own stuff, you know, a lot of the thing. So, you know, the philosophy being that you're actually, you're, try, you, you're, you're voicing your opinion about things, you know, and it may be political, it may be a love story, it may be anything, you know, travels and, and everything that you see on the road and things that you do, you write about. You don't necessarily write about any one particular thing sometimes, you join them together and you make a song a sort of a, you know, a... a a fictional version of what went down, you know, um, and then that becomes another thing. So you're taking bits of stories and making them one story, right? Um, so I don't know whether it's, it's a philosophy or whether it's just something that's inborn or what it's, it's you're reflecting what you've seen, that's all, you know, that is the general idea. And you're allowed to do it because you, you get an audience that, that's, you know, watched you grow as a writer so you know that's really where i'm at now I, i've i've done a lot of stuff um on my own after wings particularly where i've just gone into the studio like this and you know got a few friends in eventually and then sort of said well i want to do something different here so th that's the main thing you, you, you're just experimenting with something you haven't done before you know as everyone i think you, you know should do you don't want to live in the past all the time Well, again, we weren't, we were trying to be a band that could get a couple of grooves going. We weren't particularly looking at it being a great big production of, you know, what are we going to do now? We're we going to make a big album. We're we going to try and, cop, you know, follow on from whatever big album we did before. No, we're trying to do something that reflects where we're at now, which was us jamming, basically, on a few old songs as I said and which developed into some of the stuff that Paul was writing so you know he became comfortable and it was all about getting the feels between me and Denny and Paul as you know bass drums and guitar and making it you know groove basically and I, I think that we thought at that time is why put anything else on it you know why why are we doing that we just we wanted people to know this is where we're at you know simple as that and we weren't really I don't know, from what I can remember, we weren't trying to be too clever, is what it is. And we just thought, well, this is like, you know, what's the difference between this, or, for example, than any other album that's done, sometimes done like this? I, one thing I can think about is maybe the Dylan basement tapes or something, to where, you know, they just, just went in there and came out with what they came and didn't touch it, you know. And that's, that's valid too, I believe. Yeah, we are forming a band. We are forming a band, and we are going to put out albums. But we're not going to try and be at the top of the tree right now. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You've, you've got to grow, you know. And, and also, it's not really... They are stupid, you know, to think that the audience is stupid, if you see what I mean. Because the audience knows. I mean, they know you're not going to be... When you first get together in the band, you know, in your local garage, you don't, you don't expect to be great overnight. And it doesn't matter who you are, whether you've had fame. It's a new project. So... We didn't want to come across like we're trying to prove something, basically. We just wanted to come across as this is what we're doing. And we, it's like the old, it's like when you see on YouTube now, it's if somebody goes along and they get, you know, some kid in his house just playing along without, you know, thinking about it. That's what it was like. And, and you see that person is like uninhibited doing what they want to do, you know. It's not like, oh, the camera's on, hang on, bang. You know, it's like a, a natural thing that we just left the thing running basically and then didn't touch it so i believe and a lot of people have said to me you know where they love that album because of maybe of the simplicity factor that uh you know and that's got some validity to it as well so that's that's fine with me 